Welcome to Risk Live. I'm a grandmaster at this game, hoping to share some tips and tricks to help you get better. And uh, let's enjoy ourselves along the way. We are working on ranking back up. I think we made it back up to 130 with the last win. We've been as high as 25. We are in the fourth position here. We're playing Europe Advanced, Progressive Caps. We've got a heavy presence over here with a decent... Well, this is a three-point block any way you look at it. We got a lot of material there. Ooh, with blue going there, we could go here. They could try and cap roll us and then uh, be unsuccessful. <laughs> it would be a 10 on 5. Mm, I don't know about that. What's the other alternatives? If we go here, blue takes over North Africa and breaks us. Green wants Russia. Purple wants UK. Okay, we could go here and try and get Scandinavia. Hmm. Pink's going to be a bot. And yellow is likely to go in one of these two spots. Probably more likely yellow goes here, being in the last position, than here. But they could opt to go somewhere else. So I think we're going to go right next to blue. Blue's not going to like that, and we're taking a big risk. But that's the name of the game, isn't it? That'd be hilarious if somebody else capped right here and blue capped right next to them. All right, yellow's over here. So there shouldn't be any caps in here. We've got green, yellow, purple, and blue. The only one we don't see is pink. We should have a free shot at taking this. And probably Italy. I mean, not a free shot. we got to hope blue doesn't uh, try and cap roll us here in turn one. You can go over here, Blue. It's okay. It'll be okay, buddy. <laughs> All right, he's going for Scandinavia. We'll have the added um, benefit of knocking us down under 12, and they get a bonus. Well played. Now we could do a 12 on 5 and go for that cap. We should get 7 on our turn. Actually, maybe we get 6 if we're under 12. I'm not sure. Alright, green. I think in the middle of the board. Plus one for fourth. So we'll get six to start with. I need four there. Four there, two here. And then hopefully, maybe we can get a bonus here on turn one. We got it. Blue may decide to roll us. I've only got a two stack that I can bring over. Yikes. 
Don't like that. I don't like that. Let's hope he's not ready to do anything too crazy with green right here. And does yellow even allow it? Yellow's going to have green. Right here. I think we probably tried to do too much. That was that was what we call overextending. Yellow's gonna find out right here. Yellow may just try and use that too and break us here. And that and it, it ends up breaking us. What are you gonna do, Yellow? Oh, did he run into something here? Is there a cap? There's no cap. Oh, pink's cap might be right there. Possibly. Possibly pink's cap is there. Hmm. Blue started with nine. Fourteen on six. I think we're I think our cap is toast. He's not going to get a better chance at it than right now. Unfortunate for us. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Push up one into here. Probably take out that yellow two stack so yellow doesn't. Basically, we'll make our claim on uh, Spain. Oh, pink or purple? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Why are you putting a two there? Two is not going to survive. Okay, I feel a lot better about that. Blue may attack 15 on 10. So green focuses over here. I have no desire to take Blue's cap. At least not for a long time. I don't anticipate. Blue's going to help us keep the other people here at bay. So we're going to be good neighbors. Let's hope Green doesn't uh, take this opportunity to break us here. If he does, I guess we break here. He didn't. Good. OK. 
Okay, purple's got UK and Iceland locked up. Likely going to be breaking blue here. Blue's going to be in a tough position. Mm. Let's just get a little bit there. A little bit there. Most of it over here. I'm not sure why Blue would choose that. I mean, I don't know what he saw out here, but he, it's possible he just didn't have any real good choices. Oh, is that bot going to break us here? I thought I added a couple there. Apparently I didn't. Good thing they held. So we will put something in place right there on our next turn. So I didn't want to break yellow here, because I don't want purple to see us over here yet. And yellow's not likely to have a bonus, so they're not much threat to worry about breaking our bonus. Who's breaking green? So green... Did green break blue? Does blue just want to work his way down here? It did seem kind of silly to let blue, uh, green keep all of this since his cap's over here. So I'm content to let blue fight this direction. We'll work our way up here, and we'll end up taking out purple up here first, I think. I think purple's going to be our first. First one that we go after. Okay, it was at this point my streaming software decided to freeze up on me and the sound of my voice. Fortunately, it still captured the gameplay. And we will just narrate this as we go. And it was an exciting ending. So be sure to be sure to stick around. Um, unfortunately, because the streaming software was having problems and I was trying to fix it, I was distracted. So for the next, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, 10 or 15 minutes, I was trying to fix this and I wasn't able to pay attention. To what was happening and I missed the opportunity for a couple of kills that's gonna play a critical role in who makes it to the end game and ultimately what it takes to win the end game so we can see here that blue went offline greens getting 13 green working out of that upper corner as far as we're aware um, with blue going offline green could also be pushing through to the orient purple getting 15 now so purple likely expanded into Scandinavia pushing blue out of that area and we didn't get to see where they attacked but they didn't attack very much so we're getting 18 we're going to um, protect against yellow we're keeping yellow as a buffer here we don't want purple to have a nice easy access to us make them go through the two there and i was planning on getting italy there but i distracted myself and forgot to make that last attack 
So the bot still surviving, but not much. And, and yellow went offline as well. So we see yellow offline. Yellow and blue and pink are all bots. So it's a three player game at this point. And I'm in the I'm in the process of trying to fix my streaming software and not noticing what anybody's getting. So green got 20 troops there, made their trade. We don't get to see where they're attacking, but we're probably going to see them come into our vision. Nope, we didn't. So we don't know what they did, but with green getting 20, they likely had Russia and the Orient. That's that's our guess. And purple was able to take advantage of the weakness of pink and get that kill. Now at this point, it's likely that yellow is basically on their last legs. They they've fought it out. Would have been a good time to go for the kill. Um, yellow is only on one card, but not likely very many points or very many troops. Uh, instead, we just opt to leave them as a buffer. So we added some troops here. Ultimately, they attacked away from there, spreading themselves out, making them easy to kill. Blue does not go for the kill. Blue is a bot. Green, getting what 21 and making a trade we can see that blues getting progressively weaker and on four cards could be an ideal time to get the kill on blue we know greens pushing from over this direction into where blues at and blues been a bot for a couple of turns now so blues likely getting weak purple with the trade in as well and between purple on this side, on the left side, and green on the right side, everybody's getting squeezed. And purple just came in, and they get the kill on yellow. So we could have gotten the kill on yellow had we been paying attention. It was only one card at the moment, but it keeps somebody else from getting it. Purple got that, got the trade in. Now, if we were paying attention we would realize that blue is likely on the last legs. And we would go searching for blue, but instead we just decided to punch back on purple. Now, right now, I've given up on trying to fix my software. And I've decided that I need to just focus on this game because it was, it was kind of getting out of hand with the other players getting killed and us not even being aware of it. Had we been aware of it, we would have went for the blue kill right there because blue was on three cards. We opted to go for purple and hurt purple because we didn't know that green was strong. We hadn't been paying attention and we saw that purple was. So that was that purple was on our radar. Fortunately, we go in after purple. Green also broke purple and green is trying to take out blue right here. So. This is a good indication for us. We've never seen this side of the board yet in the game, but green failed that kill. We want to go for that kill on our next turn if we get the opportunity. Purple gets the trade in, and ultimately they're going to come in here and they get the kill on blue. Now, they have a trade in. They could, because we just hit purple pretty hard, they could trade in, add those troops there, smash our cap leaving us with one cap, break our bonuses, and they don't do it. They stack with a 28 over here, and they're hitting some of green, and then they break a couple of our bonuses. Now he's breaking the rest of our bonuses, and he fortifies. So our cap survived, but we're not getting much to trade, and we're on one card. We don't have much prospects here. We just have to try to survive. We do need to break. We, need, we do need to break some uh, bonuses if we can. And we'll see if we can capture uh, a bonus and put ourselves in a position to keep it. So we're going to 
put some uh, guards around spade and we're not going to open up that 21 stack now that 21 stack could attack around but it can't go into spade because we left purple in between us there so this is our attempt to keep uh, a bonus our cap is still at risk purple's got four cards they could trade in green we're hoping has enough to be able to distract purple and hopefully knock down purple's troop count so purple gets 18 so purple still held quite a bit and he traded in for 45 again he could have taken either of these caps if he stacked on it and he's instead going after green look at that that was a 71 stack that we saw go through there and is he going to get the kill on green he's attacking fast and he did purple got the kill on green so purple ended up getting every other kill in this game and all of the cards associated with that we are hanging on by the skin of our teeth purple's going to have a trade we're going to try and just break him limit his troop generating capacity until we can get a trade because what else can we do our options are limited and now look what we see there was a cap right there we thought earlier on how funny that would be if somebody capped next to blue it turns out they did look at all three caps one right after the other hilarious so we've got three caps here we've got a cap in the uk and we've got a cap in russia we we don't know where the last cap is at um but we have seen scandinavia we know it's not over there so we know the cap is somewhere in the orient and purple got their trade in again they could have smashed our cap down in africa north africa and they didn't do it they opted instead to try and clear the board, getting as much territory as possible. So we're at a crossroads here. We've got 13 territory or 13 troops. We're just going to smash, give up that cap, see if we can break these bonuses, and can we survive to trade in? We couldn't break through Russia there. We're going to try and break all of the bonuses here. We managed to break every bonus. And we did have to give up that cap. So I said, good game, well played. I figured it was over. Purple failed the kill. They, they went for the kill on our cap, and they failed it. We're going to have the opportunity to trade in. Now, Purple makes a big mistake. They attacked off of this cap, leaving it empty. And they're just trying to take over as much territory as possible, leaving us with nowhere to attack. But we do have some critical places to attack from and we had a trade here we go we're gonna stack 10 here we're gonna put some over here to take the cap in russia we need a little bit more over here because i think i'm thinking there's a cap in iceland i can't couldn't remember we put the rest here in north africa we get those three there's no cap in iceland we take this one it's got to be in the orient and there it is we got it and we took the win now the last the ending of that game, we sped it up at two times speed. The whole, ever since we um, had that error. So, good game to our competitors. Wow, that was fun. And uh, we won a few points, ranking up to 111. Appreciate you joining us. I hope you had as much fun as I did at the finish there. We'll, we'll see you next time.